What is going on you guys, it's Elise Wallex here and today we're going to be doing uh, some tutorials. Uh, these tutorials are going to be on Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 and uh, basically this is just for all the people who know maybe use Windows Movie Maker, haven't used Adobe software before, you know this is just to make your videos like you know a lot higher quality, better performance with all the titles and everything so um, these are going to just be some simple tutorials on how to make your videos a lot better. So. Okay, so to start off, you want to make a new project, and you're going to get this new project screen come up here. Uh, this is where you just call it whatever you want. You don't really need to play around with any of these unless you're being, you know, really specific. So we're just going to call it to touch, touch, touch. And then you're going to get another screen come up, which is give it a second. All right, um, it's called new sequence. Now this is where you decide what your project file is going to be saved as and what like the exportion settings basically so my settings I usually go for like the full quality HD that's why all my videos are in HD if you guys didn't know that I do put a little bracket saying HD in all my videos but this is the video setting I used HDV 1080i 3060i so it's basically you know what we'll call the refresh frames per second here but if you guys need to go a little bit lower than that uh, I recommend DV PAL you know the, all the standard size but if you're wanting HD videos in 720p or 1080 the HDB are the settings you want to use so um, I'm just going to call it sequence one here so when you go uh, new sequence uh, your whole workspace is going to open up here as you can see uh, basically going to go through what these are this is really simple so if you guys do know this you're going to skip ahead to some of the videos I'm going to probably make later on so here's your little video bar here this is when all the stuff in the timeline is played here uh, you can set this to you know playback resolution if your computer is perhaps a little bit slow or um, that you know you haven't got the required space. Now I'm just going to show you one thing quickly if I remember how to do it. If you go project settings, general, uh, scratch disks, wait no, actually I'm just going to leave that. All right. So, uh, you're going to need to learn how to import stuff, it's really simple, so it basically just go to where your video is or your image or whatever and simply just drag it in and it should import it, there we are, so you will just whack in, in this little uh, box here, which is where like all your videos will be kept, so you can just drag them onto the timeline, like so, as you can see it comes up here. Uh, first thing to note is there's three video layers, so there's one, two, three, it can extend, I think it goes up to something like six or however many layers you want. And then you've got the audio here. Quick way to adjust the audio volume on your clips is to click and then as you can see it says dB which is decibels and negative obviously means it's going down and if the number gets higher it obviously means it's going louder. So if you set it to zero decibels and then press spacebar, as you see the clip has no audio whatsoever. Now you're probably wondering, hang on, this is 1080p, so why is the clip really small? Reason is, this clip is obviously captured in 6, 640 by 480 So to make it larger, the simplest thing to do is right click and then go scale to frame size. This will put your video in the aspect ratio of your project settings. Now if you're not happy with this, there is another way, but this will you know, mess up the distortion, just basically distort your video. So to do this, you go here where it says video effects, you go motion, and it gives you all these different, you don't really need to muck around with all these, but what you do do is untick uniform scale, and then you can change the width of the video, see how it's becoming wider, so you can set it to full screen, yep, and then you've got the height, which is the height of the video. So now, as you can see, the video is, you know, less in quality, not too much, but you can, you know, if you want to create a cinema effect, you know, of like the little black lines to the side, you can just play around them with the size there. But remember, you need to untick uniform scan. So that's basically the uh, basics for one episode, guys. Uh, importing and, you know, changing the size of your clip and project settings. Um, next episode, we're going to go over simple stuff of, you know, making transitions in and out of your videos and things like that. So uh, thanks for watching guys, please be sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, it really does help. And I'll see you later.